These are some neat moments. Lambs on top of the Mama U. This is surrender pose, I think. <laughs> I surrender. Welcome back to our genuine homestead. It's 2023 and year number three of lamb docking and castrating. Let's we'll see if we've gotten any better. into roving sheds so that take care of that because some of these lambs are getting pretty big already. Just had one born this morning, but the very first one was born first day of February, so it's been almost two months, so we need to take care of that. They're out here on the back pasture. wild and free back here. Could use a lot of cleanup. There's your river girl. Hi river girl. Finding some good food? Alright sheep. Violet. Violet, if you ever want to see a baby again, kill me. <laughs> <laughs> you stinker. No. Oh. You lost your opportunity, Violet. All right, time for some tail docking and castrating. So that took 20 minutes. <laughs> I did get some footage bringing in some. We thought maybe we would gather them in in five minutes and be already halfway done by now. So it goes. So again, we go to the, basically where the bone is, but you can see where this pinkish is, and then this little bit of an extension of the pink. As far as I know, we're right at the end of that. Is as short as you want to go. That's why you want to do it sooner rather than later. Nah. 
Hopefully that's not too high up. Done? Yeah, cute, nice. Yeah. Boy? Yeah, definitely a boy. <laughs> no question about the maleness of this one. These are from Premier One Supplies. So far, so good. This is the third year we're using them. This one might be one of the cutest ones we've had in a while. Brown eggs. Uh -huh. This light brown. We haven't, had this. we haven't had this brown, light brown in any of them. It's always black. Seems to be the main disadvantage of doing them young. But, uh, the actual testicles are much smaller. Cute. Don't be scared of me. Don't be scared of me. I'm Sometimes it's a bona fide rodeo. Goodness. They're very large. It's a surrender pose, I think. <laughs> I surrender. <laughs> okay. I'll just come back here. You can open the gate. You can open the gate, come back, and then hopefully they'll come. And the other ones are the uh, brother and sister. Oh, so cute. Oh, it's so cute. This one was doing the surrender pose. Did we? Victory! Have we counted, <laughs> have we counted how many? Uh, no, then one, two, three, four. <laughs> and you just did the big one? Uh, yep. Five. There you go. Yeah, that's right. So we have this other bird right here, and then the other one that ran out. Uh, that's it? Yep. Oh. This is the result of mamas and babies being separated. More noise. so surrendery. You know, we're coming up on Easter. <clears throat> this is almost April, 2023, coming up on Easter. And it is just so true that lambs surrender as a lamb that was led, led to the slaughter. What a good picture. Oh, here you go. Hi, Ginger. 
Ginger's the last <laughs> one to have babies. Still waiting. <laughs> So you got the two oh, big <laughs> pictures. Just a couple still pictures on this. One. <laughs> Maybe get a picture like right at the, uh, right where I'm putting. Try to double check, make sure you have two testicles in there. And we do. By this point, the lamb is so relaxed, it just wants to take a nap. That's not true. But it looks like it. And it's warm. All right, lamb, get the last one for now. Too bright. You ready? You saw the ones are all laying down. <laughs> Poor little babies. Those are all the boys. So let me get a little interview with this lamb. Are you uh are you ready to be done? <laughs> Did you like that a lot? Well, uh, raise your hand if you'd like to be done. Was that a hand? <laughs> oh. get it at the yep. There it is. There you go. At the joint. <laughs> All right. Good sport. <laughs> Let's see, I think, oh, so that took just under 30 minutes. That took just under 30 minutes once we actually started. Um, how many did we? There's 10, or 9. Ten, 9. Oh yeah, we have some. I think that one's a girl if you want to go band the tail. Uh, I didn't want to do it too early just in case. I don't know if there's any anything with doing it too early. Uh, it got pretty quick once we were, once we were going. So maybe we're still getting better. See you next time. Be encouraged. Keep going. Keep doing it. You can do it. River cow. Want to give a little moo moo? Chickens. Ah, another wonderful day. I started a timer to see how long it would take, and including all the roundup and getting them all in, which took 20 minutes maybe. Uh, it took about 50 minutes overall. So keep going, things will get faster. We're thinking that ideally we would have Ideally we think we would have a pen for rounding them up and a pen in which the babies can't get through. Yeah, they were kind of constantly jumping through the littlest ones. Um, and maybe even ideally that we would have the mamas in one spot and the babies that we could have just on the other side, but they can't get through. So that the mamas, like if we're taking a video or something, the mamas can't just uh, keep knocking over the video. Or stepping on your feet. Yes. Pretty simple equipment today. Banding tool, bands. And a handy dandy bucket. And um, things are so much easier when you do them together, most of the time. That's all. Here's one. Here's an example of a docked tail. See a little band here. So they just come off eventually. I can't find a scrotum. Moment. That's not a school, that's a chicken. 
So there are 10 of these or, or whatever they were, nine or 10 of these somewhere out in the pasture.